You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of ABK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to this show. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Listen, I'm a little early today. I know it's Thursday, but remember, I and I should have said this yesterday, I got to go jump on a plane like right after I get off the show today because I am on my way to be a speaker on it, on the Global Impact um, Conference that's at sea. So it's going to be on a cruise ship, which is kind of cool. A um, little scary, but kind of cool. But I, I got to get out of here. And it was like, oh my God, I have so many things to do. You wouldn't even think about, I've been preparing for this for like months, right? And I'm still, it's like so crazy because I'm at the last hour. Literally, like I'm going to jump off the show, eat some breakfast, head to the airport. That's literally what I'll be doing. And I'm still, I still don't have everything together, which is not like me, but I just had a lot going on this month. This has been a busy month for me so far, and I don't really see it slowing down no time soon. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying there's a lot going on right now. So I'm going to do a show. It's going to be a short show today, but I still want to come and bring you some news because I really, um, I really love doing my show. So last night I had the chance to moderate, um, your voice with Derek, Derek J. Wilson, who's a candidate here running for um, um, a commissioner seat, and also I had a chance to meet some other great candidates who <clears throat> who shared with the audience, you know, what they were running on. We got a, someone running for Superior Court judge. Um, there was um, Patsy who was running for DA. Um, there was Clifford who was running for sheriff. There was Kurt Thompson who was running for uh, commissioner chair chair uh, position here in Gwinnett County, which is you know really high position. I met Madeline Jones. She was running for um, Senate House 45. I met um, Lindsay, who was running for the same seat as Madeline. And so, um, yeah, it, w- it was a really, it was a great event because I got the, the I got a chance to moderate that event. I got a chance to hear candidates. Not only did I get a chance, but the uh, community people who, who came to that event got a chance to listen to, you know, these people who are, you know, want to get, want you, want you to elect them. They want you to cast your vote for them. And I thought that was so important. That was my first time moderating a political event like that. And it was quite interesting just to hear, oh, and Andrea, Andrea Stevenson, I forgot about her. Um, she was there also, she was running for House District 106. Um, but I got a chance to, in a, you know, to, to moderate and ask questions from these people who, who are, you know, they want our vote. And so I, got, I thought that was a great event. So Derek J. Wilson, who is running for commissioner seat over in Snellville, um, district, I want to say, I think it's District 3, um, he was the facilitator of the event. And I thought it was cool that, because he's running, but he thought that he would bring a panel of other candidates together so they can also share with the community, which I thought was a smart move. So that was pretty cool. Um, but listen, it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Right now it's about 72 degrees, going up to a high about 96. So it's going to be hot. So I'm headed to Florida on the plane, then from Florida to the Bahamas. So I know I'm still gonna be hot like for the rest of the trip. But I'm not complaining. I'm kind of I'm looking forward to it a little bit. I'm a little bit on the scared side, you know, because of the whole weather thing. But anyway, I can't I can't spend a lot of time messing around this morning because I got to go. So we're gonna jump right on in here with the Harvest Ghost brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. But today, September the 12th. So yesterday there was a lot of commemorative um, events going on, um, and um, to, to remember 9-11 yesterday, so there was a lot of stuff going on about that, so t- but today we're going to move forward. Uh, September 12, 2019, your daily horoscope today, we're going to kick it off with Aries. Put your thoughts on paper. Your ability to talk circles around your colleagues will help you forge your head in the workforce. You can make some finance, sound financial investments if you act fast. You got to act fast, though, Aries. However, however... Make sure to read the fine print. Yeah, it can be sound, but you need to make sure you read all the documents and all the fine print. Taurus, it won't take much to upset your lover. You will benefit through hidden assets and property investments. Your mate will appreciate your honesty. Be honest. Yes. Also, you gonna you got some benefits and hidden assets and property investments. Read the fine print, Taurus. Read the fine print. Gemini, don't hesitate to present your unique ideas. Be careful not to push your luck or take too much for granted when dealing with other on, on either a personal or professional level. 
Any renovation or decorating to your home should be should include the whole family. Everybody got to get in. Everybody got to chip in to make this happen. So include everybody. It'll lighten your workload too. Yes, it will. Cancer. Someone around you may not be trustworthy. Uh oh. Watch the backstabbers, Cancer. Watch them today. Watch them. Keep your eye on them. Travel and learning uh, should be on your agenda today. Try not to take everything so seriously. Hmm. You're talking to a Cancer. My daughter's a Cancer. Sometimes it's like walking on eggshells. You don't know what to say and what not to say. And when to say it and when not to say it. However, I'm the mother, so I say what I want to say. Anyway, Leo, express your interest if you want the relationship to progress. Don't push your opinions on others today or you may find yourself in the dog house. Go over their important documents and take the time to suggest alternatives. Watch the, watch the documents, Leo. So I'm talking about this is a business day here. I'm hearing money, documents, investments. Watch your stuff. All right, Virgo, you will be in high, you will be in a high cycle regarding work. Find out if they have other commitments. Children may be demanding, and entertainment could cost a lot more than you can really afford. There's a, listen. We're in Gwinnett County. Today is Thursday. There's a, the fair. The fair. I was gonna talk about that at the end of the show, but listen. But it, it still costs money. It costs like ten dollars to get in. But here's the thing. We have beautiful parks. Beautiful parks, and they have extended the pool hours. So if you can't get to, you know, if you can't get to the fair, if it's just not in the budget, you know, don't worry about it. Go to the park. The parks are beautiful. All right. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this and bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Fison. Right here on the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bear Kern, and giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thais. I'm going to pick it up with Libra. 
Curb your impulse to make lavish purchases and maybe spend some time with good friends. Losses are likely if you left your financial affairs in other people's hands. Ooh. Ooh. Inharmonious situations at home may be extremely upset upsetting for you today. Listen, you don't leave your you don't, don't leave your financial affairs in nobody's hands. Hopefully you you know, hopefully you can recover Libra today. Scorpio, spend time getting to know each other. Don't sign your life away. Get involved in groups and organizations that are distinguished nature, of a distinguished nature. Yeah, spending some time getting to know that person. You want to know them. You, you never really know somebody, not 100%, for real. I don't care how long you be with them, you just never know them. So learn as much as you can, but you never know everything. All right, Sagittarius. You will learn valuable information if you travel today. Okay. Your positive attitude and intellectual outlook will draw others to you. Problems with peers are apparent. I don't know what that means, but just, just have a good time traveling today, Sagittarius. One of my friends is traveling with me today. She's going on this cruise. She's actually the facilitator of the whole event. So, yeah, she's a Sag. Capricorn, try not to be too harsh with loved ones there will always be two sides to an issue listen they always say there's two sides three sides to a story your story their story and the truth so there's always going to be two sides probably three sides this is a great day to get out and enjoy an entertaining evening with friends or lovers your lover may disappoint you in such a way that estrangement will follow okay so that's kind of like okay so either i'm gonna have a good time with them are they gonna disappoint? Are they gonna disappoint me at the good time? I'm not. A, I'm not a Capricorn. I don't know, Cap. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta weigh that one out. Aquarius, you may find out that someone is trying to undermine you. Watch out for the backstabbers. Watch out for the backstabbers. Aquarius, they're out there. Short trips will be educational. You will accomplish the most through elderly act, orderly act activities. All right, my fellow fish Pisces, travel will be most enticing. Up. Oh, Get out of here. You listen to this, you guys. This is crazy. So, Pisces, travel will be most enticing. Consider a cruise. What am I doing cruising? Yes. You will do your best to entertain those you wish to close deals with. Shut up. Great day for me. Don't try to twist things around so that they sound more enticing. Okay. Thanks for that advice. Oh, my goodness. The stars is right. Hey, I'm on, I'm on my way to a cruise right now soon as i get off this show so listen that's all i got for you on the horoscope side i'll be back again on tuesday i won't be here monday guys I, i'll be still out at sea so i can't really um i won't be here monday i'll be back tuesday i'm gonna miss you guys i'll try i'll see i don't know what the internet is like on the cruise ship i don't know i'll try if, if not you'll hear me on tuesday but now let's get on to some news so you know I, I, i've been doing this thing like i can't make this this segment called i can't make this up Because some of the things I read about, I just can't make it up. I cannot. So listen, you saw all over the news last week about that chicken sandwich at Popeye's. People like in line for like hours trying to get a chicken sandwich. And then Popeye run out and some guy got mad and pulled a gun. I'm talking about just crazy stuff. Like I can't make it up. Well, Popeye's is in the news again this morning. I ain't mad at Popeye's. Popeye's is like, you know what? We gonna ride this PR to the to to the wheels fall off. Cause it's free. This is free. This is free publicity. This is a publicity stunt at its best, and I love it. So Popeye's, and I cannot make this up, but I understand. Popeye's says you can BYOB and make your bring your own bun and make yourself a chicken sandwich. Did they run out of bread? I can't, listen, I can't make it up. You can bring your own bun to Popeye's and make your own chicken sandwich. B-Y-O-B. Bring your own bun. I can't I can't make it up. Yep, Popeye's knows you're still sad about his chicken sandwich shortage. That's why it is suggesting a quick fix to ease your chicken sandwich cravings. Bring your own bun. That's right. Popeye is allowing guests to bring their own buns. Order is three-piece tenders and make their own chicken sandwich right there on the spot. Really? That made the news. That made the news because it's so ridiculous. Because before you could just go there and buy chicken tenders. Now they want you to buy the chicken tenders and make you a sandwich, bring your own bun. What, they give you a discount? Come on, man. This is crazy. I can't make it up. This is some of them things I just cannot make up. Bring your own. Go buy some chicken tenders. You know, bring a bun. And then once you get there with the bun, you know, yeah. Yep. 
People was in line for that chicken sandwich. Yep. Now they're saying we out of chicken. They must be out of chicken too. They sold out of chicken sandwiches in just two weeks. Yep. Yep, but now you can go there and get some chicken tenders and bring your own bun and stand there and make your own sandwich and pay for the chicken tenders. How about that? It made the news. I ain't mad at Popeyes. That's called good PR, baby. Good PR right there. That the chicken sandwich. So they going on week three. They had to come back with something because the chicken sandwich had them going for like two weeks. The chicken sandwich had them going for two weeks. They were getting it in for two weeks. People were crazy. I'm like, what the heck? I had to go and look. I had to go see. Like, I need to go down here and see the line. And true, true enough, it was a line wrapped around the building, doubled. It was like two two cars, two car lines. It was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Governor Brian Kemp announced his record year for global commerce and film here in Georgia. Yep. All right. Governor Kemp has joined the Georgia Department of Economic Development and announcing a record-breaking impact. The Global Commerce and Film uh, Division had Georgia during the 2019 physical year, which ran from 2000, July 2018 to June 30, 2019. The Global Commerce Division supported um, the creation of 28,960 jobs, generating more than $7.4 billion in investment through the location of 30, 332 projects, 399 film productions um, in Georgia resulted in in a record $2.9 billion invested in the state. With groundbreaking records in global commerce and film, Georgia leads the nation as the best state for business for the sixth year, Kemp said. The Peach State remains the Hollywood of the South, and companies across the globe have Georgia on their minds as a great place to invest. Now, here's a problem. A lot of this filmmaking money that we're bringing is threatening to leave in January if that if that heartbeat bill passed. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how they're going to make that work. If they pass the heartbeat bill, there are a lot of filmmakers and producers um, who have said, we're going to leave Georgia. We're going to leave Georgia if that bill passes. So I don't know. And that's a lot of jobs, 28,960 new jobs. You know how much, how many people, if, if they leave, that that would be terrible. Yeah, that would be terrible. I, I just hope it doesn't happen. I hope that we can come to something because I would hate to see that many people lose out on employment because – um, they don't want to give a woman the right to do what she wants to do with her body. I'm just saying. All right, listen, I'm going to a song, and I'll be back after this song to bring you more of the rundown right here on the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. You listen to me, Andrea Bell Kearney. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. Where we could go, where we could be alone. Between city lights, we don't have to hide. Do you want to follow? There's something in the air, I can't explain it, but it's there. Ain't nobody gonna find us in our secret love affair. I don't want to have to hide no more, it shouldn't be a fair. I want to go, and I want to know. Do you want to follow? Do you wanna follow? 
back. Good morning, Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So building the teacher pipeline is the future of Georgia County, uh, Gwinnett County Public School System, um, superintendent says. Gwinnett County Public School Superintendent and CEO J. Alvin Wilbanks has made more than 20 addresses to the Gwinnett uh, Chamber of Commerce as head of the county's public school system, also the largest employer of Gwinnett County in Gwinnett County. Yeah, the Gwinnett County Public School System. Yep, hire more people than anybody. Um, some addresses aren't always as dense as the one he made on Wednesday afternoon at the Infinite Energy Forum, but the opening of a new high school, the expansion of a dual language immersion and heavy and a bevy of new projects funded by the General Obligation Blind Program that passed last year gave him plenty to discuss. Yes, a new high school. Let's let's hear about it. All right. Um, one note that uh, Will Banks touched on at the end of his address pertained to the idea of a teacher pipeline, a school system as a large and heavily staffed as Gwinnett, uh, uh, Gwinnett County Public School System will ideally make a mold of its future employees. Yep. Only that doesn't seem to be happening. Um, a 2019 poll conducted by Phi Delta Kappa, an organization that creates a network of support for educators, showed growing dissatisfaction among teachers nationwide. The poll, the poll indicates that teachers um, feel underappreciated and aren't advising others to pursue teaching careers. You know, last night at the at the um, at the at the um, at the forum. Um, with the candidates last night, Met Madeline Jones, she talked about that. She's an educator. She's running for Senate House seat 45, District 45. Um, she talked about that. She said one of the things that teachers really face is that they don't, they're not, they don't feel appreciated and they don't feel supported. They want to be able to empower the students, and they're not giving that reign to empower the students because they feel that they need to be more, be, be allowed to be more creative. And I think that's because. I think our education educational system is a little broken and out. Well, not broken. Yeah, broken and outdated because we're living in a time where technology is like it was like back in the day. You know when they say um, uh, money is king, where whatever technology is king right now, and arts and entertainment and technology and innovation. That's what we need to be teaching our kids. And she was saying that you know a lot of the times that they can, they're not allowed to do that. They're kind of pigeonholed into this old system and old way of doing things. And so they don't feel supported or appreciated and they're not paid enough. So I think that it's, I think that America as a whole, and when it comes to education, we need to go back and reevaluate how we teach teaching our young folks, right? They, we are so heavily focused on test taking that we're missing out on innovation and, 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 the, and the opportunity to, to, to empower these youth and they're smart. Right, they're smart. They know how to use the phones. They know how to use the computers. They're smart how to create stuff, and I think we're pigeonholing them by keeping them in this old-fashioned way of learning things. I do. So I understand how teachers can be underappreciated and not supported because they want to be creative with all the technology and the stuff that's available right now. They want to be able to impart that knowledge that they've learned into their students and empower them. So I can understand that. But you know, there's some great things still coming out of there, but. You know they are. I get it. They are dissatisfied, and not and so nobody is tell, nobody is saying, "Hey, be a teacher anymore." That used to be like a you know a admirable profession, and it still is. But when you when you when you're in a system that's broken and outdated, it's not fun. It's not helping the teachers or the students. So I think the United States as a whole, um, when it comes to our education system, we need to look at it again. We need to reevaluate. And I know there are some magnet schools out there. There's some private schools out there doing some great things, and there are even some high schools that are doing some great things, like new high schools. Like um, I was over at uh, Shiloh. I'm going to be sitting on the board at Shiloh High School over in Snellville, and they have what's called an academy school, which I absolutely love. It has film and TV. It has art. It has technology. I love that school. I love what they what they stand for. Again, though, they still have all this test taking to go through. So hopefully that'll change in the near future, or else we're not gonna have anybody teach our kids. Who's gonna teach the kids? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Hot diggity dog. There is a new self driving car over in Peachtree Corners. Yes, man. Yes, sir. Peace Street Corners opens Curiosity Lab and showcases the autonomous vehicle test drive. It looks like a little mini bus. How many people can fit on there? It's so cute. 
Okay, so that's a self-driving car. You know, I was talking to my uncle and my mom, right? Because they both, um, they both are kind of like disabled. Like they walk with walkers and stuff like that and crutches. And so, um, a lot of times I'm so busy, and then my daughter's busy. Everybody's working, but them two. And my uncle wants to go out sometimes, and you know, I'm not here. Nobody's here to take them. So I said, listen, they're gonna have these self-driving cars. I was talking to him, my mom. I said they're gonna have these self-driving cars. All you gotta do is call the car, and it'll come pick you up. And they're like. I'm not getting in a car. There's no driver. Like, no driver. The car's going to come pick you up. They thought they, they were like, no, not getting in it. That car might drive us off a cliff somewhere. It was hilarious. And, you know, that's something you got to think about because it's ran by technology. And we have hackers that can hack into anything. However, it's still very exciting. I think it's very exciting. Probably because I'm somewhat of a tech geek. So, the opening of Petrie Corners 5G and Ava Curiosity Lab and the Autonomous Vehicle Test Track will help Georgia on the map as a technology hub, um, said uh, Lieutenant uh, Jeff Duncan. Duncan was one of dignitaries who attended the ribbon cutting ceremony for Lab and Test Track Track which was held yesterday morning in connection with the opening of the Smart City Expo, which is being held in Atlanta. PC Corners and its partners, including um, Spring and Georgia Power, developed Curiosity Lab as a place to test smart city innovations, particularly those in transportation. That was one of the top subjects last night amongst all the candidates. They wanted to see, they wanted they want to fix transportation here in Gwinnett County, and some of them had some really great plans. I ain't going to lie. I was like, wow, I'm, I, that would make me vote for you, but, you know, um, we still have a long way to go here in Gwinnett County to get that done. But Hey, listen, right over in Peachtree Corners, they got these smart, these smart cars that drive themselves. Now here's, here's a flip side of that. That means somebody's going to lose a job. Yep. That's what it means. But I'm still excited about the, by, about the technology. Because if you think about it, if that's a self-driving little, but and it's a little, but it looked like a little bus, like it holds about, let me see one, two, three. It probably holds about eight to ten people on it. It's cute too. You you get a chance, go to Gwinnett Daily Post and you'll see the story there. Yeah. So congratulations to Curiosity Labs and um launching the new first self driving car right here in Street Corners. I'm looking for I need to go visit Innovation Lab. Like I like that kind of stuff. Like I'm a I'm a t like I watch the history channel. I watch all kinds of stuff when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, about a, a few, about a month ago, I guess, um, it could have been a few weeks ago, Burger King introduced the Impossible Burger, which is supposed to be a, a vegetable burger. Well, Taco Bell said, you know what, we got to jump into this vegetarian game. So, Taco Bell is, is debuting a veg, vegetarian section on its newly redesigned menu, which also includes two new menu items. So beginning today, the fast food chain will offer two new vegetarian items, a black bean Crunch Wrap Supreme and a black bean quesarito. I don't know what they are. The, the they're vegetarian, you know. All right. So those are in addition to its two um, other existing vegetarian options that will be displayed prominently in a new vegetarian favorites menu. So they're the everybody's listen. Everybody, a lot of people are very health conscious right now. I am. I'm very health conscious right now. I try not to eat a lot of junk. Well, I never ate a lot of junk. I ate a lot of a lot of sauce and butter. Like when I would get my salad and I would eat a salad probably two or three times a week, if not more, sometimes two or three times a day, but I love salad dressing. So that was my downfall. So even though the salad was good, everything, salad and cheese, like sauce and cheese. Yeah, that was my downfall. It wasn't sugar. I wasn't a car person, but I was definitely a Sauce. I want to dip my food in something. I want to spread something on something. That was me. Yep. But anyway, Taco Bell said, you know what? We got to get into this game. Yeah, we can't play around. We got to get in too. So look for a new menu item starting today on the Taco Bell menu, especially if you're a vegetarian. Check it out. You never know. <clears throat> it might taste okay. I didn't taste the Impossible Burger. I don't really like Burger King, though. You know, so that's why I didn't taste the Impossible Burger because it's not one of my favorites, Burger King. Nope, not at all. All right. <clears throat> today is opening day for the fair. Yes, it is. Yep, yep, yep. So today is opening day for the fair. So you get the kids, pack them up, go on to the fair tonight. It's going to be hot. I went to the fair last year. It was so hot. I was like, oh, and it was late. We went like 8 o'clock at night. It was still hot. I was like, oh, my God, it is hot out here today. So the annual fair kicks off in the fairgrounds today with free admission for all guests. You can buy tickets for one day. For other days online in advance, adult tickets cost 
dollars, and children and senior tickets cost three dollars. You can buy a combine uh, combined ticket and an unlimited ride stamp for seventeen dollars. Ticket prices at the fair um, will be ten dollars for adults and five dollars for children and seniors, and children age five and under get it free. But today, everybody get in free. Listen, going out to the fair has some fun. Today, everybody get in. Fair opens at five o'clock today. So if you want to go out, now it's your time. Listen, someone. Somebody had a horoscope say, I think it was Virgo. You may be limited with your money. If you in Gwinnett County, going out to the fair, free, you still, still got to buy some stuff, though. Because, you know, the kids going to want a candy app or a hot dog. Everybody was walking around last year with corn on the cob. I don't like corn. on. I don't like corn. I don't eat corn. I don't like it. Never had. Never had liked corn in my whole life. Don't like rice. Don't like corn. Now, here's the funny thing about rice. I will eat rice and sushi. But I don't like, I don't like corn. Anyway, you want to go to the Gwinnett County Fair. It's located at 245 Sugarloaf Parkway doors. The gates open at 5 o'clock today, and it's free for all. So have a good time. Listen, I'm going to go last song, and then I'm going to come back and give you my inspiration of the day because I got to get on a plane. <laughs> But I can't see if you're right here next to me. Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you tell me to confess. And you tell me to confess. Oh. I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing can be like. Just a been a bad dream You can run, you can hide But you can't put the blame on me Because you're a fact, phasing light, see it all bright, you were never right, back to life, I apologize, too soon to say I'm fine, too soon to say I'm fine, oh, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see, this is not the can be life, it might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano show so listen guys that's all i got for today thank you so much for tuning in but before i want to before i go i want to give you a little bit of a uh, inspiration um so here's my inspiration for today there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it let me say that again there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or be the mirror that reflects it listen thank you so much for listening i really appreciate it you could have spent any been anywhere in the world but you spent the last 35 minutes with me sorry i had to cut the, sh the show short but i gotta go jump on the plane and, and um 
you know, go and speak to some people about how to start a podcast, which I'm excited about. Um, but thank you again for listening. Be sure to share the show with all of your friends. And listen, go out to the fair today. Have some fun. It's free. Have some fun. Um, share the show with your friends. Follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And follow me on Twitter at GM Gwinnett. I'll be back again on Tuesday because if I can, if I can broadcast from the ship on Monday, I will. If not, I'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. But again, thank you for listening. I really appreciate you so much. I'll be back again next week, Tuesday, or maybe Monday, God willing. So next time, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends.